What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 50 minute legs, cardio and abs boot camp. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Out today we're gonna to be hitting the legs the abs and then mixing in a little bit of cardio with it as well we've got boot camp style today and I'm gonna switch up the boot camp just a little bit and we're actually gonna have five stations per the boot camp today so we've got three big stations we're circuits of five exercises and we're gonna rock through them three rounds each okay so lots of options for progressive overload lots of options for you to step up your weight or step up the intensity as you know in round one these are your five workouts for this circuit. We're gonna do them two more times and then we're gonna rock them. So three big circuits today, okay? For my dumbbells, I'm gonna be using anywhere between 10 and 30 pound dumbbells and I'll probably bump up to the 40 or the 50 in my goblet squat. So you can do that if you have a 40 or 50, but if you don't, you can always just double up and do two 10s, two 15s, two 20s, whatever that, that weight for you is, okay? So in the first circuit, you'll see that goblet squat. Be thinking about kind of what you want to do with that. Um, also, water and a sweat towel, and we're gonna get started, okay? So give me a big thumbs up if you are ready. We're gonna jump right into the warm up here. All right, we're gonna start with arms right across your chest. Let's open up the chest, breathe in all the pump, all the motivation today, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. It's gonna be a good workout. I'm excited to do this new kind of style of boot camp with you. I think of like five stations. When I used to teach at a group fitness gym, we had normally five or six stations set up around the gym. Okay, nice wide stance. Sink it down nice and slow. Equal pressure in both feet. So this will kind of be that. You don't have to move around, the, around your living room or anything like that, but think of it as legs, abs, legs, abs, cardio finisher, okay? That'll be our five. Go. All right, come to the top, widen it out a little bit further. Inner thigh stretch, lateral lunge. And set your hips back as you sit into that side heel. And really feel the stretch here. Great job. Three, two, one, and good. Walk it in or heel toe it in, butt kicks. Also, if you have your glute resistance bands, you can grab those. We'll start with that first circuit, which includes a goblet squat, okay? So you can grab those. They should be here or restock very soon, so I'll keep you updated on those if you don't have it yet. All right, let's march in place here, get your hip flexors warmed up. Low impact workout today, so the cardio exercise five of each circuit will be cardio. Other than that, you're not jumping at all. Okay. All right, drop that left heel back. Drop it down on the floor, lean and push. There you go. One more, good, switch it over. Other calf, you can bend or you can bend forward. Whichever leg you wanna bend, hit that back leg. There you go. Very excited you guys are here with me today. Let's use this workout to set the tone for the week, okay? Go hard here, just establish, just make up your mind. This is gonna be how my week goes, okay? This workout right here. Good, one more. All right, bring your knees back right under your hips. Hinge it back, reach those hips back. Hamstring and glute stretch. We've got a couple deadlift moves today. There you go. All right, last one, and perfect. All right, let's get started with your first exercise, goblet squat. Okay, right here, we're gonna go three seconds down, pause for two, come up one, okay? Three, two, one. Ready? Tempo with me, 45 seconds, two, one, here we go. Three, two, one, hold for one, two, up fast. Okay, so go down slow, pause, up fast. Here we go. Good. Right before you come up fast, pull your core in, dig your heels down, push that floor away. Good, come on. 
Good, a little tempo work changes it up for you. Good job, 10 more seconds. Almost there, you've got five, four, three, two, one, rest. Good job, 15 seconds. And we're gonna go plank knee drivers. One leg at a time. You're going to go elbow, middle, cross, okay? So side, middle, cross. All right, let's go in two, one, here we go. Side, middle, cross. Side, middle, cross. Good job, outside, under your chest, other elbow. Beautiful. Not really enough room to go down to your elbows for this. So just make sure you're pulling in here really hard. Good, 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, good job. Three, two, one, and good. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbell. Overhead lunges, you're right here. Relax your shoulders. Step it back, keep the weight right over your hip and your heel right back up. Ready? Let's go. If you want to go forward, you can do that as well. I find that it's easier for me to make sure my weight is right over my hip if I go backwards, but it's whatever works for you today. If this does not feel comfortable, bring it down here. Same thing, okay? Exercise number three. 15 seconds. Beautiful, seven, six, two, one. Great job, bring this dumbbell down with you. You've got sit-ups, okay? 90 degrees with your legs right here. No, I'm sorry, keep them down. Sit-ups with your dumbbell on your chest if you can. Right here. And down. If you're not ready for the dumbbell there, go right here. Let's go. Good work. If you're working on strengthening your abs, you've got to put resistance on them. Okay, so what that does not mean is here, okay, you're strong enough to get up in a sit-up. Without the weight, you want to make them stronger. You've got to put the weight directly on your chest. There you go. Five, four, two, one, rest. And here's our cardio. Exercise five. You're going to think of three spots on your mat. Side, middle, side. You're going to go two high knees, four high knees, six high knees. Okay, it looks like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slide and go again. Okay, we'll go in 10 seconds. I'll show you one more time. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the start, okay? Two, four, six, let's go. Good, and you're back. There you go, keep it going. Two, four, six, come on, 15 seconds. Nine, eight. One more round, three, two, one, breathe. Great job, you're back to goblet squats. If you can go heavier, grab that heavier dumbbell for me. I'm gonna go up 10 pounds to my 40. You grab what challenges you. We'll go together in three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one, remember? Three, one, two, up. Good. 
tight core. Sit, sit, sit. Good. Breathe in, keep your core tight. Explode out of the bottom, come on. 13. Big push, push that floor away. Four, two, one, good. There we go. All right, plank, knee drivers. Outside, middle, cross. Whew. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's go. And when you bring that knee up to the side, to the middle, to the outside, Make sure you're not just passively moving it. When you bring it under, you're crunching to it with that angle, okay? So the side is not just here, but it's here, 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 okay? The whole point of bringing that knee up is to bring your pelvis closer to your ribs. That's the ab activation, okay? Not this. Six, five, two, one, rest, good. Overhead lunges. If you want to do two dumbbells, you can also do that. I'm going to go up to my 25, okay? You're just thinking about that dumbbell sitting on top of all your joints, okay? Let's go. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, hips. Stays right there. Straight line from when I sit in my lunge, if you look at my tailbone, it's straight over my shoulder and my elbow and my wrist. That's what we need to make sure it's stable. Good job, keep your core tight. Don't let your belly button flare here on your lunges. I see this so often, right here. Pull it in, sit it down. Beautiful, seven. Rest, good. Here we go, sit-ups. Dumbbell sit-ups. You doing okay? Woo. Great work. All right, if you're working on using this to strengthen your abs, put it on your chest. Ready, let's go. And have patience with the roll-up too, especially if you're adding resistance. So without weight, you can get up pretty quick, right? With it, push in the struggle. Okay, exhale, squeeze. It's the opposite of bringing your knee up to your chest in a plank, you're literally bringing your chest closer to your hips. Okay, you think of those hips and ribs. Your core is involved in the closening of those two things. Two, one, rest, good. All right, two, four, six on the cardio. By the way, if this is not perfect, totally fine. Give me quick, quick, quick. Okay, let's start down at this in this town, okay? Two, four, six. Ready, let's go. There we go. And you'll see me stumble around, it won't always look perfect. I'm going hard, work hard with me. Ten more seconds, good job. Four, three, two, one, breathe. Last round of goblet squat. Show me what you've got with that tempo control. Okay, slow down, pause. Make sure everything's right on the pause before you shoot up. Ready? We got it, two, one, let's go. Good, I literally think about pushing the ground away from my chest. Oh. 
Good, up quick. Set your butt back. Don't bend at your knees first like this. You're going back, sit. Good, eight more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. Throw that dumbbell back. We're going for the planks. I'm gonna put this back really quick. All right, plank, side, middle, cross. Ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. Nose stays right between your thumbs. Good, keep breathing. That's it, 20 seconds. Side, middle, cross. Let's go, let's go. Eight, three, two, one, rest, good job. Overhead lunges. Last round, one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna go up one more time to my 35. Go to a weight that challenges you, but also keeps you safe, okay? Ready? Let's go. Tight core, find a spot to focus on. Good work, guys. Last half right here, 20 seconds. Let's go. Keep your knee out on that front leg. Beautiful, I'm with you, let's go. Let's go, eight, seven, three, two, beautiful. Whew. All right, dumbbell sit-ups. Sorry guys, put that dumbbell right on your chest. Then we're gonna roll it up in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Good, it's all in the spine, right? Roll it up, control, roll it back. Good, come on. Stronger, stronger. This is our mindset today. Good, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and breathe. Move that dumbbell out of the way. Let's finish this one with some cardio. Okay, we're gonna go two, four, two. So it'll be moving a lot quicker, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. And just move back, middle, side, middle, okay? Make it a lot simpler this time. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. Beautiful. Come on, just work with me. It doesn't have to be perfect. Work hard. Work the arms too. Don't just leave them hanging. That's it. Four, three, two, one. And breathe. Whew. All right. You're going into Romanian deadlifts up next here. We've got two hands, just regular Romanian deadlifts, nothing fancy. Okay, I'm gonna use my 40s. Round yeah, number one, we'll go in 15 seconds, okay? All you're doing, back is strong and tight. Shoulder blades go back, tuck them in your pockets. Shift your hips away, come back in. Ready, let's go.
Good. I want your gaze to be on the way down, 12 inches in front of your toes, so your spine is flat. Breathe out, come on. Good job. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Station two in our second circuit. I didn't even mention that we moved on to uh, circuit number two. Russian twist. Okay, keeping your heels down if you need to, up if you can. Touch, touch with your hands or with a dumbbell if you can step it up, okay? Ready? Let's go. All I wanna make sure of is that you're leaning back, belly button is pulled in, okay? And you're rotating your whole chest. Not just here, but here, twist, twist. Good. Keep that belly button in. Think of rolling your tailbone back towards the ground. You've got 10. Four, two, one. Good job. Whew. Circuit, I mean, exercise number three. Squat close and wide with the heel lift each time you get there. So give me one dumbbell, okay? A regular squat, down, lift. Wide squat, down, lift, okay? Let's go. Sit wide, lift the heel. Stand closer, lift the heel. Good. Good, and if the, knee, the heel lift is too much for you, you just go close squat, wide squat, okay? The point is we're just kind of sitting down there, pausing for a second, and then pushing back up. Good, three, two, one, and rest, good. Dumbbell out of the way, I'm making a mess up here. Totally fine. 45 degrees, single leg lift, okay? We're starting here, 45, elbows down, you're gonna go down and tuck. Down and tuck. If you can go hands free, down, tuck. Ready? Let's go. One leg down, tuck the other one. Or I'm sorry, tuck the same one. And you come back to 45 degrees. So you know the whole time you're here at some point. Modification would be to take the one leg higher. Go down and crunch, straight up. Okay, 15 seconds. Focus. Keep it harder, keep your legs lower. Eight. Two, one, rest. And you've got another two, four, six. We're on the ground now. Planks, mountain climbers, high knees. So plank jacks, you go one, Two, bring it in. One, two, three, four. Bring it up, six, okay? Two plank jacks, four mountain climbers, six high knees, let's go. So I got two, four, come up, six. There we go, come on, your pace. So two, four, six, you'll find that theme in every cardio round today. Good, 10 more seconds. One more round, can you get there? Three, two, one, and breathe. You're back to the top. Romanian deadlifts in 10 seconds. Can you go up and wait? If yes, let's go, this is round two. Ready? Let's go.
Good job, big squeeze up top. Little soft bend in your knees. You don't have to go to any certain depth. So if you can get to your knees, feel that stretch there, come back in, fine. Keep your form tight. Keep your back flat. Six. And rest, good job. Whew. All right, move those out of the way. Russian twist. All right, butt is down, you're leaning back. Okay, heels can be up or down, depends on you. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Round number two of circuit number two. <sighs> I think I like this breakdown. What do you guys think? Five exercise stations, different style boot camp, but I like the stations like this. I think it's fun. <sighs> there you go. And after this, we've got one more five exercise circuit station. We'll go through three times and that's it, okay? So you can really know how to step it up. 10 more seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, good. Close and wide squat. Heel lift if you can, okay? The point is to just take it in and out. So you're here, lift, wide, lift, okay? Let's go together in two, one, here we go. Good, nice and strong. Good work. Toes can be out a little bit on the wide squat. You see all my, uh, my toes are 45 degrees out? That's okay, they don't have to be wide and forward. This feels better, go right here. Six, five, two, one, breathe, good. 45 degrees with your legs, seated or on your elbows. Okay, right here. If you need to make this easier, go higher. If you wanna make this tougher, go lower. Ready? One leg at a time, let's go. Drop it, tuck it. Drop it, tuck it. And while you're tucking, you can see this other leg is still hanging out here. Keep rolling it back, you're doing great. 15 seconds. One, good. Two, four, six with that cardio. Two plank jacks, four mountain climbers, six high knees. And if you're doing a low impact option, just come up, give me six power marches, okay? Or skips, all right? Two, one, let's go. One, two, go to four. Get back down quick. Good work, come on. Two, four. Great job. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Three, two, one. Very last round, Woo. Romanian deadlifts. What can you give me safely, okay? Safety is the motive here. Challenge, safe. Ready, two, one, let's go.
Take those heels down. Good job. 20 seconds. Let's go. Hips back. Eight, seven. Two, one, rest. Good job. Whew. All right. Sorry. Those big guys are hard to get back in there. Okay. Russian twist. Last round right here. Two, one, let's go. Let that sweat fall. This is us finishing our second circuit. We're almost there. Breathe. I know. I feel it too. Come on. Belly button pulled back in, right? Spine is tall. Torso twist. We're right there. Let's go. Five, four, two, one. Great job. Squat with the heel lift, close and wide. Whew. All right, lift the heels if you can. If you're not ready to lift your heels, just take it close squat, wide squat. Ready? Let's go. Good. This is really good for imbalances too, right? You can really identify if this leg is stronger and have a really easy time getting this one up and this one kind of slams down. Be patient. Work on that one. Okay? There's no rush here. It's all about form and strength. There you go. Nice shake a little bit on one side. That's okay. Don't let it off the hook. Keep pushing it. Ten. Good. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. I say all that because I get it. I do the same thing where one of my legs, I feel a lot more confident in it. So I kind of let the right leg off the hook sometimes. What I've been focusing really hard on, working that right leg just as hard. Ready? 45 degrees, let's go. The truth is, you can push yourself to make sure that leg keeps up. Okay? Even if you have to slow it down, that's more important than speed. Any day. Good. Legs are strong. Let's go. 15 seconds. Can you drop them lower? Oh, yeah. Come on. Roll that belly button back. Two, one, rest. Let's finish out the second circuit like we know how. Like we're ready to be done with circuit two. And on to our last boot camp circuit. Isn't that crazy? All right, here we go. Two, four, six. Are you ready? Let's do it. Come on, aggressive six. Get up there, go quick. You're back down. There we go. Come on. Two, four, six. Go, go, go. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Can you speed it up? The answer is yes. Yes, Sydney, we can. Here we go. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one. And breathe. Woo. Let me tie my shoe, grab some water. You've got 30 seconds and you're doing amazing. Woo. Beautiful work. Circuit two, done. Let's rock into circuit three, okay? Grab water, 15 seconds as I'm spitting on myself. Sorry, very graceful there. Plie squat, 
lateral lunge. Goes like this, plie, lateral, plie, lateral. So you're wide the whole time, okay? I'll give you nine seconds, get your dumbbell. Five, there you go, big deep breath. Dumbbell here, two, one, let's go. I'm using my 20, I forgot to mention. Sit wide, squat wide. Good, heels down, heels down. Keep the knees out, don't let them cave in here. We're here. They stay out, they're trying to reach out to your pinky toe. Feel the difference when you push it out there? 15 seconds. No rush, your technique, your best. Three, two, one. 90 degrees sit up. Your legs are at 90 degrees. You're sitting up touching your toes. If you can do that with a dumbbell, let's do it. If not, you're here. Okay, sit up, touch. Back down. Ready? Let's go. If you can do it with a dumbbell, you go up, touch, woo, and back down. If you wanna go even further, you can go up, Put that dumbbell on your legs, go back up and get it. Beautiful, 10 more seconds, come on. Five. Three, two, one, come on up. One dumbbell. We're working just with the left leg right now. Left leg moves, okay? We go Romanian deadlift here or here. And then you take it back to the front. Squat. Okay, so my right leg is doing all the work. All right, ready? Let's go together. Deadlift down, bring it in. You're squatting. This leg can touch here, touch here. If you feel good, it can go here. Right leg does all the work here, okay? We'll start the clock officially right here on this 45. I want you to get it right. Good. There you go. Butt goes back in all situations. You're on this right leg heel, okay? Beautiful, eight. Keep that knee out. Two, one, great job. Side plank, pulse it out. We're going on the elbows here. If you can stack a dumbbell on your hip, that's fine. Here's the levels. Level one, on your knees, stacked. Level two, on your toes, stacked. Level three, dumbbell is here. Let's go. This has a lot to do with your glute strength as well. Your obliques, yes, but also shoulder, obliques, hips, glutes, right? I know you can feel it. Beautiful. 15 seconds. Seven. I know, come on. Five, four, and rest. Two, four, six again. Crisscross, high knees, punches. One, two, go to four. One, two, three, four, go to six. Right here. Crisscross twice, high knees times four, six punches. Ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, your turn. There you go, whoops, there it is. 
Trip over my mat. <laughs> 15 seconds. I'll go this way. <laughs> Good, 10. Five. Rest. Good job. <laughs> Plie squat. Lateral lunge. We're back. Round number two. Are you ready? Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Plie. Let's go. Plie. Wide lateral lunge. Heels are down. Belly button is in tight. Good, and you're kind of getting some practice on the single leg isolation here at the end, right? I can tell you when we move into next month, you'll see a lot of that unilateral work, stability work. Eight, seven, three, two, one. Good, sit ups. Guys, we're so close. 90 degrees with your feet. Touch your toes or leave your dumbbell up there. We're just crunch. Go to your level. Come on. We're going in four, two, one. Let's go. Another way to do this one would be to put your heels on your couch. Okay. You got to control this one. You got to know spine is here. Crunch, hold. Belly button is down. Breathe. Good job. 12. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Single leg. Deadlift and squat. Okay. So now our left leg stays. Okay. Left leg is here. We're going back and then squat. Okay. Doing all the work right here. Two, one, let's go. Great job. Now wherever you need to put that other leg to get it out of your way for the squat, you can go here, you can go here, here. Just get it out of the way. This leg does all the work. And by the way, you'll see me tapping here for the squat. I'm still setting my butt back and down, so my knee doesn't go forward. It's still back and down. Good job, three, two, one, rest. Side plank pulse, we're going to the other side. So right elbow. Stack your knees if you need to. Roll your mat if you need to, okay? We're just thinking glutes and rectus abdominis. I'm sorry, external obliques. Let's go. Rectus abdominis is your middle six pack muscles. We're working the obliques here. Shoulders are pounding, yes, normal. We've got a lot of weight right here, right? That's normal. Just think of literally your hips and your belly button. Pull it down, lift everything on the bottom side here to pull it up. We're right there, come on. 11, trust yourself. Six, five, three, two, one. Beautiful, crisscross, high knee punches. You're doing great. That last round, we're gonna go nonstop, okay? You can probably guess that. But let's go here, 15 seconds rest. You're going in three, two, one, two crisscross. One, two, go to four, six punches. Good job, come on. 
I'm with you. Good job, 12, 11. Come on, come on, five, four, two, one, rest. 15 seconds, we go non-stop here. You transition, you transition, you transition, we're done. Okay, seven seconds, plie to lateral. Dumbbell here. Three, two, one, let's go. Good work, come on. Keep your chest up, keep your butt back and down. Nice tall spine the whole time. How do you make a tall spine? Belly button in, lift the chest. 15 seconds without resting. You're going down to your 90 degree dumbbell sit up. Eight, come on. Five, four, two, one. Let's go right down. 90 degrees and go. Pull, pull, pull that spine down. Good. Last 15, right here. Come on. After this, we go up to RDLs. You're just doing half on one side, half on the other. Okay, single leg. Let's go, five, four, go ahead and stand up with me. Three, two, leave your right leg here. Let's go. Good. Half here, I'll tell you when to switch. We're gonna go 30 and 30, okay? First 15 seconds down on this leg. Six seconds and we switch. Heel down, come on. Two, one, switch hands, switch feet, keep going. Recalibrate, get your balance again. Come on, left heel push into the floor. Great job. 10 more seconds, we drop this. We go side plank. Actually, let's go both arms down. Two, one, forearm plank. Put both elbows down, we're going body saw. Ready? Let's go. Good. Hold it here, now stop here. Extend your elbows a little further. Keep going. Yes. Pull the ribs in. Come on. Last 20, then we're coming up for that last 45. Good, you've got nine, eight, get ready. Four, three, come on up, two, one, let's go. Crisscross, come on. Four, six punches, this is it, right here. One, two, three, four, six. Come on, last 15. Don't slow down. I know you want to. Me too, you hear me breathing? Come on, five, four, right here. Three, two, one, and breathe. You have made it to your cool down. Amazing job. High fives. Woo. Come on down to a seated position. Let's go hands and knees first. Okay, come on down, hands and knees. Cool down first. Let your spine relax. 
One more big deep breath in. Exhale, sit it back. Reach out front, still keep filling your lungs up. Good, slowly roll up, hips in the air. And tuck your tailbone down to the floor. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Keep breathing. What a way to start your week. Nice work. Holy goodness. Come on into the middle. I had to take a minute there before I jumped into talking to you guys. Right leg out, tuck your left leg in. Let's fold over the middle. Okay. And now walk it over to your right leg. Breathe. I want you to let this workout set the tone for how hard you're going to work this week. Notice my wording. I didn't say, let this workout set the tone for how well your week is gonna go. Okay, if this was hard, we're not setting our mindset to say, well, great. If the rest of the week is gonna be like this, it's gonna be a tough week, right? That's not how I said it. Focus on how you worked today. That's how hard you're going to be able to work. You're gonna get the opportunity to work throughout the week. Fold over. Okay, it's all about how you think about yourself, how you think about your workload, your opportunities, okay? Don't hold on to the idea of everything has to be perfect and then I'll work hard. We don't have time for that. Okay, roll your hips forward, belly button is pulled down to the floor. You don't have time to wait until everything's perfect because, tiny secret, it will never be perfect. Okay, and if it is, it won't be perfect forever. Okay, and I say that not with a pessimistic mindset, because trust me, I don't love the pessimistic mindset. <laughs> I do love the idea of always being thankful for what you have. So, let's pull into a quad stretch here. Quad stretch, quick demo. This, not a great quad stretch. This, pull your belly button back and the heel up. That's a great quad stretch. We're not here, we're here. Okay, we're here and tall, and we roll our hip back. There you go, neutral belly button, neutral hips. Okay, but back to my, <laughs> let's think about things a different way speech. Switch over to your other leg. Let this work ethic. Set the mood for how your work ethic is going to be throughout the rest of the week, okay? Not that this workout was hard and the week is gonna be hard, but that you, the only thing you can really control, you worked hard. That's all you can control. And I think this pandemic, this COVID-19, this time period really showed us that, right? This right here, right here, right here, that's really the only thing you can control. Roll down in the front, let's shift your hips back, legs are straight. You might think you've got it all planned out. We've got everything sorted how we want it. And then life throws you a pandemic. And you're like, wow, I really, in reality, don't have control of everything. And that is probably the hardest part for most people. Reach over top. Coming to the realization of, I don't have control over everything, but what I really, realistically can control is right here between my ears and right here between my ribs, okay? Reach over top. Your mindset, how are you thinking of things? Are you thinking of your past as your burden moving into the future? Or are you thinking of it as your strengthening exercises for being prepared for what the future is gonna throw you? See how you can flip that? You have to keep rocking in that way. And I'm not saying it's gonna come easy, but I'm, I'm definitely saying that you have to try. Okay, you can't look at your past and say, wow, life has been hard for me. In a different degree, it's been hard for everyone. In, in a different degree, it's all relative. Okay, but what we can say is, look at all that I have gotten through. Look at all that I have overcome. Notice the common denominator. You did that. You got through it, okay? It's not that life was just continuously throwing you curveballs like, hey, this is terrible, here it is. Whatever life throws you, you have gotten through it. And I know how, you know how I know that you've gotten through it? Because you're here today and you're here spending this time willing to be better, to work to be better, okay? Life has not happened terribly to you. Life has been strengthening you for everything you're gonna face in the future and for this moment right here, right now. So take a minute and just release all of that. Future expectations, past happenings. Be present right here with me for just a second. Okay, I'm very glad that you're here. 
I'm very glad that you're doing this for you. All we can control is right here and right here. Okay, and a little bit of right here, but you get where I'm going with this, right? <laughs> you have had so many things happen that you've gotten through, and I know that that's tough, and I know that's frustrating. I've been there, I've gone through some terrible stuff too, but what I do know is I never knew how strong I was until I was forced to get through that stuff. And now looking forward, I'm like, okay life, you've been strengthening me for the past couple years. You've been preparing me for everything that you're going to throw at me in the future. And I don't wanna look at the future and say, oh no, bad things are gonna happen, but I can look at my past and say, I got through it. I am getting through it today, just like a lot of you might be, okay? So life hasn't been terrible to you. Life has been happening and you've gotten through it and you've gotten stronger because you're here today. And for the future, all we have left is to show our strength. Life is going to throw stuff at us and I believe in you. I believe in all that you've gotten through has been preparation for all that you are still going to be blessed to go through. Okay, with your family, with your friends, with me. Hopefully you don't get tired of me because I'll be here for a while. <laughs> But I just believe in you so much and I want you to think of your past as less of a victim burden mindset and think of it as a strengthening exercise, just like this workout for all that life is gonna throw at you. And you're gonna look forward to the future and say, look, I am so strong. Life has not happened terribly to me. I've gotten stronger and I have overcome. So let's keep overcoming together. Let's look at the future and say, you know what? Bring it, we're strong, we're ready and we're gonna take it on just like we're gonna take on the rest of this day and the rest of this week together okay make sure if you head out really quickly just subscribe to the channel before you go it means a lot to us I know I keep asking every day but it really does mean a lot to us you're not subscribed if you just watch every day subscribe means to click on the red button right below this video it will turn gray when you do it'll say subscribed and it just helps our channel so much guys so that's all we ask from you make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below that you crushed it and you are strong and you're ready for what life is gonna throw at you all right, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.